Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to build up and paint this Iron Man 3 model from Dragon. It's for ages 3 and up which is my kind of category and there are 4 models to collect in this series. And ours is the one marked up with a green sticker which is the Mark 16 Nightclub Armour. So let's get this battered box open. So we have the two piece base including the flight stand. And this has been sculpted to look like a corner of a building, possibly a roof. In the next part comes the main model, which comes in seven parts. This has been well packaged so that you can clearly see each item. It's just that it's a little bit reluctant to leave the packaging. And just like with the Mark 42 armour, it likes to explode and go everywhere. Last but not least, we have the colour guide plus the assembly instructions. And those look to be fairly straightforward. And this is everything in the kit all laid out. There's just a tiny bit of cleanup required for the base. And that very quickly sand and smooth. I'm only dry fitting the base together for now, as it will need to be separated for painting. This whole kit looks like it's designed to be snap fit together. But because several pieces need to be loosely assembled first, it has a habit of falling apart before it can all be secured together. So I used a little dab of plastic cement on every joint, and that sped up the whole process. Each piece has a peg which attaches only a certain way, so that way the finished model matches the box art. It is always possible to cut off the tabs and reposition it slightly, but even that won't radically change the finished pose. The back plate is the final piece that holds everything together. Unfortunately, no matter how much I push, there's still a small gap at one side, and this would have to be filled in with some Tamiya modelling putty, which goes on like a paste into the gaps, and once it's hardened, it can be sanded smooth, and you never know there's a gap there. And the next step is priming everything, and for that I spray on my usual grey primer, and once again nothing glued in place yet, so I can still separate everything for further painting. Next I spray on a black for a base coat. And then just for the Iron Man armour I spray on a layer of silver. As this base coat needs to be metallic and metallics always work better on black. I cover the Mark 16 armour in a black wash. This will go into the recesses and create some shadow. For the main colour I wanted to use this metallic blue. This is quite a thin paint, so basically what you've already got underneath will show through a little bit. So the only parts I painted silver were the front part of his mask and the circular chest piece. And once that had dried, I painted his eyes white. I also painted the thrusters on his hands and feet white, as well as the stand, as these represent the bright white from the art reactor. And I also added a blue wash to the stand. And I also used a cotton bud to take off some of the paint on the raised areas. And this way I should be left with some sort of a blast effect. And while I've got the white paint out, I get everything a dry brush. And this basically catches on the raised areas and gives me a little bit of definition. And I then went in with some black panel liner and this helped to define all the edges. And that way we can distinguish the difference between all the armour plates. You can see that the ink sinks to all the low spots and creates a hard black line. So now the figure no longer looks like a solid blue mass. So while that's dry we move on to the base. And I give that an overbrush in white. And I do this because I want to retain some of the black shadows. I then overbrush the side of the building red. And this already feels more realistic because it's not one solid colour. And that finished off with a white dry brush. And now it's just a matter of getting this all assembled. And that's very very straightforward. The corner of the building clips onto the base plate. And next goes on the flight stand. And then finally that plugs into the Mark 16 armour. And that just needs a little twist to face the right direction. And then we can seal in all that paintwork. And to do that I use the matte sealer. 
because the gloss stuff looks too artificial and it takes ages to dry. So there we have it, the Mark 16 Nightclub Armour from Iron Man 3. And this was one of those you could barely see flying about in the background during the final act of the film. As far as I can tell online, they only ever did one series of these figures, which means there's only a total of four kits to collect. And those are the Mark 42 Armour, which is the main one seen in the movie, the Mark 40 Shotgun Armour, the Mark 35 Red Snapper Armour, and then finally the one from this video, the Mark 16 Nightclub Armour. These kits can still be found on the second hand market, but they're getting quite rare now and quite expensive. So this is very likely the only one I make from this collection. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, if I can do it, so can you.